So guys, I just got on the computer. I'm actually super excited, guys. Apparently, there is a new Skyblock update, and apparently, it's a really, really big one. So guys, as you can see right here, we just got into Skyblock, and as you can see here, native fruits. That you have native fruits have appeared in Skyblocks. Each player has a native fruit unique to their island. You have received uh -uh. orange tree sapling to plant on your island. Trade with others to collect all the fruits. Where is this plant? <gasps> Ooh! So guys. Appar okay, guys, I'm going to have to read through the entire update log because it's a big, 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 big update. But what I've received right here, first off, to just even start with, let's plant it over here, is an orange tree. And this is honestly kind of exciting because this means that we're going to have to trade. Like, there's, it's not an option anymore. We have to trade. So uh, we're going to leave this thing here to grow and... Uh oh, my God! What? Dude, what is this portal? Oh, my God! Dude, this looks insane. Oh, my God. Bruh. <laughs> that looks mad. Oh, my God, guys. Okay, let me actually grab the update logs right here. Because I actually haven't read through all of it yet. But I like the portal. Portal's good. <laughs> so, did they also change the VIP portal then? Like, I'm curious. All right, guys. So, I'm just reading through the update logs right now. First thing that we've already figured this out is fruit trees. Very nice. Very exciting stuff. I really am excited about those, to be honest. Because... I'm going to gather them all. You all know I will. I will build a farm from them all, and it's going to be awesome. The next up, guys, each player has a native fruit to their island. You need to their island trade to get them all. Yeah, we figured that out. Uh, auto craft food with the new food processor. <gasps> oh, that's a big deal. Oh, that means that, guys. Okay, that means that currently. Oh, my God. Here it is. Oh, my God. A crystallized gold? Oh, my God. Um, I didn't even know that was a thing yet. <laughs> That means that there's probably better gold farms out there than just simply using, like, onions. Smelted onions, whatever the heck it might be. Next up, guys, we have crystallized gold. I mean, I just figured that out myself. Next up, we have selling food to the baker will now give you much more pro uh, profit. Oh, so they even buffed that as well? So, is my farm useless then? <laughs> guys, I just built this giant farm, not the, like, not even long ago. And is this, like, not even going to be the best way of doing things anymore? I don't think it will be. If if they really did buff uh, cooked food and also... Oh, boy. Oh, my God. What? You can sell a carrot cake for 136 coins? Huh? Hold up a second. Oh, my God. So, dude, this is insane. So, guys, we can make so much more money crafting carrot cakes than we can making onions. It is honestly night and day. Like, this is insane. Also, as I can see right here, there's avocado toast, which means, leads me to believe, yeah, there's now avocados in the game. That's nice. Lemon bread. Ooh. Apple pie. And orange cake. Or, yeah, orange cake, which is the one that I have. That's actually awesome. Well, guys, continuing with the update logs, we have items will no longer collide with each other on conveyors. More info below. That is actually kind of a big deal, but not so much for me, guys. Um, especially if you have item sorting systems, okay? Uh, in that case, it is a big deal. Because those used to rely on if an item piles up, it will flow over to the next one. Uh, that will not happen anymore, apparently. Also, a new pro portal and lots of bug fixes and other improvements. That is crazy. I am so excited about this all. Guys, let's actually start playing around with some of the update stuff. Because I am... I, oh my god, okay. Where's my... Give me my orange tree. So, guys, I don't think that we will ever be able to automatically farm these. Which is actually kind of crazy, to be honest. Like, un unless they add, you know, totems for this. <gasps> oh, let's go to the new totem area. Oh, boy. Are there any new totems? Is there gold totems now? I don't even know. All right, here's the totem, man. Let's see. Okay, there is not any new totems right here that we can just purchase, okay? Good to know. Oily crops, is there anything new in here? Just to check. No, there's not. Locks, nothing new either. So, guys, actually, something that I just thought of is that, like, baking bread is going to be super good because you actually don't even have to oily crop them. They don't get oily for some reason. It's the only crop that doesn't get oily besides which one? Well, I think it's the only one that doesn't get oily. Yeah, it's crazy. Which might just mean that crafting bread is going to be more efficient than anything else in the game now. Wow, weird. Here, let's just make sure that there's no real changes here to the new actual, like, buffalo uh, island and uh, slime island right here. Because uh, apparently there's no crystallized gold, which I assume is something that you can get from constantly grinding, breaking golden nodes, which is going to be really, really annoying. Because they are in this area, which is, uh, you know, riddled with these idiots. <laughs> But hey, I mean, it's a part of the game, guys. I'm excited about it. It's going to be fun to grind them. I'm not even going to lie. But if there is anything that I'm excited about, it's actually the new food processor. So let's see if I can get my hands on one of these things. That would be really, really nice. 
So guys, let's actually start trading with some people because honestly, I want to get myself more fruit. Like, this is awesome. Wait, can we buy them from here? Seeds? Oh, oh, I can buy an avocado tree? Huh? Oh my god, what? But I got an orange tree. Oh, they sell for 20 coins each. Ooh, that's actually really good. And avocado sells for 32? What? Oh, so guys, I think avocado is just one that they added, like, out, like, besides all of the other ones. So let me buy, like, 30 of them. <laughs> let's, just, let's, just, let's just hop into it, man. Like, I think these are, like, categorized, like, besides all of the others, like, um, as, like, a separate thing, which is actually pretty nice. Here, let's see how much avocado toast sells for because it's another thing that they've added here how do you make avocado toast i don't even know just bread okay yeah bread and avocado all right nani do i see that correctly is that my first onion oh my god oh give me my onion thank you can i eat it Ooh! okay guys i'm gonna save this thing in this <laughs> in this standing machine which is default set to three million coins if you want to buy my first ever onion <laughs> you can buy it for three million coins <laughs> <laughs> here, let me place all of these avocado trees right here. And uh, yeah, bro, exciting stuff. Really exciting stuff. Let's get let's join a public server as well right away uh, to actually get trading. All right, so one thing I'm actually thinking about is how can I actually get myself on an orange tree? Because, you know, I have orange, but do I only get the orange trees like as like a small chance? Like, I don't know. Do I break the orange tree? I should probably try breaking it, actually. Uh, it's probably gonna give me uh, two saplings or something. Please give me sapling! Okay. Okay, it gives me three wood and one orange tree sapling. Uh, good to know, good to know. Can I just say, by the way, that these trees look ten times nicer than all of the other trees? Like, they look way nicer, man. All right, so I, I asked everyone who wants to trade with me, and I, uh, I see that everyone is very eager to trade with me. So first of all, I'm just gonna invite everyone to my island, and then let's, uh, let's start debating with some of these guys. Because, guys, the new update is super trade-heavy, um, and actually, guys, I'm just going to say that this is not a very accurate representation of how actual trading goes. Um, if you're looking to trade, I highly recommend just going into public servers asking, hey, who has this tree? I am looking to give you this tree for this tree, yada, yada, yada. And then you can actually go trade around. Like, I would say that that's like the least sketchy way of doing it, I think. <laughs> I am looking to buy an apple and a lemon tree. All right, Luna Pokemon Brick says, I have apple. So I'm actually going to go over to their base. And uh, do the trade on their base so that way there's not like a million people around to snag the items, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's visit their island. Let's see. Oh my god, they have a... What? They have a really nice base. Oh, they even got the good... Oh, they even got the good setup. Damn! Oh, they just dropped it. Huh? Uh, okay. I will give you, I think, three propellers. Or I think a propeller is a good trade. One propeller. I, we didn't actually discuss the trade. She just, just dropped it. <laughs> oh my god, thanks so much! No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't... You can't... You cannot give me free more free stuff. Okay, as an extra payment on your on your already existing payment, I will quickly check out your castle because it looks sick. <laughs> Dude, this is nice. Wow. This is one of the nicer castles I've seen. This is really good. A little secret area. Damn. Oh, wow. This is so creative. They use the staircases as ladders. Oh, my God. That is so clever. This is awesome. All right, so this guy says that he wants to trade me for a food pro. Ooh. Oh, wait. Let me first have a look at it. Oh, that is cool. That's the little arm in there. Oh, my God. So you can set it to a thing that you want to be trading. Or like, oh, my God. That is actually so interesting. Oh, wait, wait. What is he doing? Oh, my God. He just dropped two of them? What do I give you? What do I... How do I pay you? Take my money. <laughs> oh, my God. Do I have building permissions? No, I don't. I will get... I, um... <laughs> he just casually gave me two processors. Ah! He says no need. How much? Okay, he does have. I was gonna give him a million bucks. He has four hundred sixty-three million, which is insane, dude. What an absolute legend. We can now check that out as well. Okay, all right, gamers. Who wants to trade for a lemon tree? Is what I just said. Oh my god! What? A, we just dropped another one. Stop it! What are you doing? A <laughs> massive shout out to this man. I. That is insane. So everyone is noob just said to me that he has a lemon tree. And I want to trade for a lemon tree. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, these are avocado trees. Nice. Oh, here's the lemon tree. Okay, this is an orange tree. Oh, how cool. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. We got to trade. We got to trade. We got to trade. We got to trade. I will give you two propellers for one of those. Is that a deal? Is that fair? <laughs> I don't know. I know so little about trading. <laughs> I like how people are chatting. Just like, Jesse, I will give you one million coins. It's like... I'm trying to be a real player here. I'm trying to trade with people. Try to be, you know, epic gamer. And I'm just getting three. I'm just getting the craziest stuff. Oh, my God. He made it. Oh, that's actually so sick. Wait, I can actually do this myself as well. Oh, that's cool. I could just. So you just throw it in there and then you just. Oh, my God. That's so cool. 
Wow. All right, you made like a uh, like a little what do you call it? Like a like a little track for this. This is really awesome. Well, guys, I think it's about time that we actually get some of the new stuff planted. So let me actually go back to my own base right here and uh, let's see, bro. I'm excited to check this out, so guys. Actually, let me make a bit of a clear area for the new trees, but. I don't actually know which one of these is the new tree. Is it this one? Okay, it's that one. Oh, and that is an avocado. They all look so similar. Oh my God. I like how it just placed all these trees right there. And I wish I just wouldn't have done that. All right, let me clear out these trees right here. And let's actually check out some of the new stuff. Oh my God, this is me. <laughs> all right, everything's cleared out. Let's place some of the new trees. And let's actually check all of this out. So let me place one of every single tree. Oh my God, this is gonna be so sick. <laughs> Also, guys, I really want to place down one of these and actually kind of figure out how they work. So let's see. I open up my food processor and let's see. What do I get inside of here? I have wheat. I have berry dough. I have all of the normal stuff. So can I just select one? What happens if I just drop wheat in there? Or what, what do I have? I don't have ingredients. I've sold everything. Ah, I cannot craft a single one of these things. All right, guys. So I just harvested all of my stuff. And now I can actually see if I can craft any of this. So is it as easy as just dropping it in there is what I'm, you know, curious about. Hmm. So guys, I just harvested a ton of wheat, as you can see right here. I have 408 in my hand, but it actually doesn't say that it can craft the dough. So what I think I got to do, or the way this works, if I drop in wheat, it will go in there. As you can see right there, it says one out of three now. And if I fill it up with three, then it will plonk out dough, as you can see right there. Which, what is interesting about that is that wheat is... Is wheat used in multiple things? I think only one ingredient. Well, yeah, for example, right here. So I can make potato salad or just generally speaking, uh, tomato sauce. So how would that work if I drop in three potatoes I like i was all just falling off <laughs> yeah, let's see okay did I, all right I, i'm getting confused okay there's so many people here <laughs> here guys let's get a little bit of privacy for a second just so that way we can actually test this out properly i'm sorry guys thank you so much <laughs> i just gotta test this out for a quick all right now that we're up here let's see so i placed the food processor and let's say i drop in uh three potatoes q q and q all right so then that this says uh i did drop in oh wait one of them fell off okay drop in one more okay wait what it just went back to one i'm getting back my items that are going into here what it says plus one potato in my items but i i didn't actually put that potato in my inventory all right so i just put in three potatoes nothing serious i pick up the potatoes okay it says right here three potatoes can i put in more than three what if i put in a fourth i can only put in three so then it will give it back to me or something I'm getting a little bit confused, but that's all right. Here, let's just throw in one tomato and let's see. We'll, we'll it craft ourselves a bit, a bit of potato salad. All right. And there it is. Potato salad. Plonks out of there. That is very useful. I love it. So if we would want to make, for example, a berry cake or berry dough or whatever it is, like berry dough, right? Or avocado toast. What we would have to do is first off, in the first one, we need to drop uh, three wheat to craft a bread, which will now come out of there, if I'm not mistaken. Am I right? Oh, because there's one potato in there, the whole thing is jammed up. Whoa, that's weird. So the wheat is just not taking right now because there is one potato in there. So it is going to be extremely important to make sure that you don't clog your systems. And then one tomato. And then we have a potato salad. And we still have one potato stuck in there. So it does save. <laughs> All right, now we're clear. Now we're clear. Okay, now we drop in three of these. And it's still not going in. Why is it not going in? Oh, we have to select the recipe. So I now selected wheat. And now wheat will work. Ah, I didn't even realize. So we plonk out dough. And then the dough will go in here. If we select this or this. And then it will... Yeah, okay. That is awesome. I really, really like that, guys. That is going to make for some incredible farms. But guys, with that, we're going to end off today's video, guys. That is us checking out all of the new stuff, guys. If anything, I'm really excited about the new portal. I think we've checked out everything. Yeah, we've checked everything out. So guys, I hope you all had a fun time with us today, guys. We're going to make some incredible videos about some new uh, automated food farms. It's going to be super exciting, guys. Make sure you stu stay tuned in for that. And I'll see you on the next one, boys. <gasps> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Subscribe!